And our vision starts with a simple question. What do you do if you have just a tablet and you get an email with a table of data in it? You want to understand, you want to see that data with no, no server, no cloud, just your tablet. Well, we looked. And even though there's over a million applications in each of the major app stores, there's just no good app for that. Well, we think there should be. So today, for the very first time, I'd like to show you a whole new app we're building. Now, when we were designing this app, we rethought everything. We wanted to make a new experience where you could explore your data by feel. We wanted you to have feedback that was fluid and immediate as using a pencil. And we wanted you to be able to use your hands to shape insight out of raw material. And we wanted it to be fun. And maybe, just maybe, stretch the definition of mobile analytics a bit. We call it Project Elastic. Let me grab my iPad and show you the app. I asked a local sandwich shop to send me their sales data. And here it is in my email. OK. So I have a file as an attachment in my email, but how do I see and understand it? Well, before, I was stuck. But now, I can simply tap in and hold and choose Open in Elastic. Now, Elastic automatically gives me a useful view right away. Here it is in a category view with the items sorted highest to lowest. And at the top, I can immediately see the top selling menu items are catering and the daily special. Right? And by the way, that white circle is my fingertip, so you can see what I'm touching. Now, when I see data, I want to immediately explore it and get a feel for it. So I want to scroll up and look through all the menu items that are for sale at this sandwich shop. Okay? That was fast. But let's see what else we can do. Now, how should I filter data in an app built for touch? Well, wouldn't it be great if I could filter out with just a swipe? Well, I want to filter catering out. So I'll just grab it and drag it to the left. Catering's out. Out, in. Out, in. OK, let's leave catering out. <laughs> so filtering is fast and easy. You just reach out and touch your data. But let's do more. How would I switch between categories in this data? Now, wouldn't it be great if I could just examine categories with just a flick? So I'll just grab this green menu item title and drag it to the left. And bang, I've switched categories. I got another useful view right away. I can immediately see that lunch is by far the biggest meal at this shop. Again, I switch categories just by swiping. And now I can see sales by day of week. OK, now I'm thinking, what is it if I put catering back in? Because all the days look about the same. If I put catering in, bang, I immediately see that Friday is far and away the biggest, including catering. Better here or here? Here or here? OK, OK, all right, all right. So filtering and comparing data is fast and fluid. OK, but how should I switch aggregation? Let's say I want to go from sum to average. Well, in Elastic, you can touch everything. So I'll just grab the sum here. Let's actually go back to menu items. I'll grab the sum here and say, I want to switch to average. There's my average. There's my sum. Right. Okay. So I can compare immediately with just a, a small motion. And when I let go, of course, elastic sorts to give me a useful view right away. We'll go back to sum. OK. Um, now I've learned enough to answer some questions, like, what's the top seller at lunch on Monday? Okay, how would I answer that question in an app built for touch? Okay, well, let's go back. I'll just put catering back in. I'll go over and choose, okay, I want to keep only lunch, so I'll drag that to the right. All right. And I only want to keep Monday, so I'll drag that to the right. And let's look at the menu items. Bang, there it is. The daily special is far and away the top seller at lunch on Mondays. Fast and easy. Well, now I want to know how my top dish is performing over time. So let's go back. I'm just going to put everything back in and choose to keep that top dish only just by dragging, just by dragging to the right. Okay. So how easy could we make it to compare performance over time? 
Well, I'll just tap this timeline up here in the top center and immediately get a gorgeous timeline view. Right? And across the bottom, I can see I have data for February, March, and April. Right? And Elastic has naturally divided the months into calendar weeks. Okay. Now, this is my number one dish but the sales are falling rapidly, and I want to know exactly how much. Well, I'll just tap on this first week here, and immediately I get a green selection box with very simple and clear labels. Right? I can see that I've sold about 700 dishes for about 5,000 bucks. Not bad, but how much has it declined over time? Well, I'll just stretch this box out and see the change week over week. This is so fast and easy. But now, I need to get action on my insight. I need to share what I see. So I want to be able to do that, in, of course, in just a couple of taps. And I can. I'll just tap up here in the top right, choose email image, and bang, you've got viz. <laughs> So we just saw data from a restaurant, but we've used Elastic to analyze data from a whole range of subjects, from fitness and sports to finances and science. And we've looked at some small files, and we've looked at some really big ones. And it raised another question. Can Elastic be fast and fluid even with a lot of data? Well, to answer that, let's look at data from a totally different domain. Up here in the top left, I have a list of recent data files that I've opened in Elastic. And we, we really like that Sunspots example. It has 64 years of daily observations. Let me open that up. Now, how fast and fluid can Elastic be with tens of thousands of data points on an everyday tablet? Well, let's see by exploring the timeline view a bit more. Watch the horizontal axis at the bottom as I zoom into the data just by stretching with my fingers. And we'll go from decades to years, from years down into months, from the months down into weeks, and ultimately right down to the individual data records. And it, I can also understand aggregation a little bit better. When I zoom back out to weeks, I see the weekly average smoothly transitioning to the dailies. So I can really start to understand how aggregation works with this application. And when you can literally touch your data this fast and fluid, the app disappears. And it's just you touching your data. Now, we all love our data. And at Tableau, we really love getting into our data. But sometimes, zooming to level 10 just isn't enough. Sometimes you need to go to 11. So we thought it would be fun. What if we could reach in and see what's inside an individual record? Like this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Can you tell we're having fun building this? <laughs>